Hi there Crafts and Decker friends, welcome to a super spooky video. In today's video we're going to make some scary decorations as we get ready for Halloween. So here you can see the materials that we'll need for today's crafts. I'm excited, they're going to look amazing. So we're going to need some wool in orange, white and black. Some colorful foam sheets with lots and lots of glitter. Pipe cleaners in green, pink and black. Oh, our decorations are going to be so awesome. We also need some permanent markers and some acrylic paint in these Halloween colors. Some little artificial flowers in different colors. Some white card. Some colored cellophane. I chose orange and purple for Halloween, but you can choose whichever color you like. And we're going to use this thin glittery transparent material in the colors that we associate with Halloween. Also some white ribbon and some gauze that you can get in any pharmacy. I'm also going to use a lamp like this one, but if you don't have one, don't worry, you can always use the light from your cell phone. So friends, are you ready to begin this terrifying craft session? So. The first thing we're going to do is grab our orange wool and wrap it around our hand, like you can see here. Once we have a ball of the wool like I have here, then we're going to tie another piece of the wool around it, right in the center. Make sure to tie it tightly so that it squeezes in the middle like this. Now, cut off the excess wool that we don't need and what we're going to do is start to cut the ball of wool like you can see here, right along. You can always ask a grown-up for help with this part. This is how it will look once we finish cutting it. Now, using our hands, we're going to fluff it up a bit and press it into more of a circular shape. It's going to be the shape of a Halloween pumpkin. So, to make it a perfect circular shape, trim the edges a little bit like this. Look, here it is. And it turned out super spongy like we wanted. Now we'll grab a green pipe cleaner which is going to be the stem of our pumpkin. Place it here in the middle and cut it to make just a little stem for our pumpkin. So now that we have our first pumpkin, we're going to make some more by repeating the same steps. These pumpkins are going to be part of our Halloween garland. Now it's time to make the second decoration which will also be part of our garland. So, this time take some black wool and wrap it around two fingers. Keep going until you have a little ball of wool. Take it off your hand and using your fingers open it up a little bit to make it fluffier. Next, tie a small piece of wool around the center, just like with the pumpkins. So friends, what do you think we're making this time? I guess we'll find out. And it's time to cut the edges again, exactly like last time. We'll end up with a shape like this. And now I'll grab the scissors again and trim it until it's all even. So here's our little ball of wool and now we're going to make a bigger one. So wrap the wool around your hand until you have a fluffy ball. So the first little ball that we made is going to be the head of our spider. So that's why we have to make a much bigger one for the body. As we've been doing until now, use some wool to tie tightly around the middle. Now take the scissors and cut along the side so we can make it super fluffy too. This might take a little longer as it's a bigger ball of wool. Now let's trim it and I'll start to take the shape of our spider. Ooh, so scary! Next, grab a black pipe cleaner. We only need about half of this one, so we'll cut it in half. Do this with a number of pipe cleaners because I'm going to use them to make the spider's legs. Pipe cleaners are super easy to use and for this you just need to fold them. So here we have lots of them. So now that we have the big and little balls of wool and the legs ready, all we need now is some clear glue to stick them all together. So, stick the head to the body and hold it in place for a few seconds. Oh, it looks like it might actually be a tarantula. Now that the glue's dry, our spider is almost ready. So the next step's going to be to add the spider's legs. So, we'll use our clear glue again to stick the pipe cleaners to the body of our spider. So we just need to use a drop of glue at the end of one of the pipe cleaners and then just stick it to the body. Now let's stick them on one by one. I started with one of the front legs. Then continue with the legs on one side 
and then on the other side. Now that you know how to do it, you can make more spiders following the same process. And now just to add some details to the spider's face to make it look a lot more terrifying. So I'm going to use these gems here and I'm going to stick two lines of them to make all of his eyes. If you don't have this type of gems, don't worry, you can always use some air dry clay or you could even paint them. So here we have our creepy crawlies and they look extra spooky with their hairy legs and their red eyes. Although I have to say, I think they look a little bit cute. <laughs> Not too scary at least. So let's move on to the next decoration for our garland. We're going to use some transparent gauze and a styrofoam ball. If you don't have styrofoam balls, you can make one from air dry clay. Just wrap the gauze around the ball using glue to hold it in place. I think you can guess what this is going to be, right? Of course, it's a ghost! Now grab a paintbrush and some black paint and we're going to just paint our ghost's face. Simply paint on some black eyes like I'm doing here and also a little circle for the mouth. Make a number of ghosts for our garland too. They're super simple to create. They can be the same size or you can make some bigger or smaller than others but they really look great. We're going to make one more character for our Halloween garland, but I promise this one is a lot easier. All we need is a white glittery foam sheet and we'll trace a printout of a skull like this. On this piece of foam, we're able to fit four skulls. Now it's time to cut them out. Try to follow the lines as much as possible. So here we have all four that we cut out. But we're only going to need two skulls for our garland. So what we're going to do is stick two together like this so that the glittery side faces outward. So here we have our two skulls. And now it's time to decorate them. My favorite part. We're going to use these little flowers to decorate them. I'm using different colored flowers and I'm going to stick them on one side. As you can see here. If you don't have flowers, you can always use paint to paint them yourself. And now, with a black pen or a black permanent marker, we'll add the details to the face. I'm drawing two circles like this for the eyes, and then I'll color them in with the same marker. Next, add his nostrils and his mouth. Draw a curved line and then add little vertical lines like you see here. And here we have our skulls! Now we're going to make the last ornament for our Halloween garland. We're going to need some purple glittery foam. And what we're going to do is take this bat shape that we printed out and trace it with a pen on the non-glittery side of the foam. Then we can cut out the bats we've traced. Wow, they look pretty cool, but we're not done yet. We need to stick them together like this so that they look thicker and both sides are glittery. So we just have to use some clear glue for this. And next, we're going to use a marker to draw the eyes. A couple of tiny dots will make them look pretty cool. Then add the fangs using the tip of a modeling tool and a tiny bit of white paint. You can put them right under the eyes, just like this. Be careful. You can add as many details as you want to make the bats look super cute. Now that we have all the ornaments, it's time to attach them to our garland. We're going to use some of this yellow string to make it super eye-catching. And you can use some clear glue to attach each of the ornaments. Let's start with the ghost. Just like this. Then we're going to glue on the bat. Just a few drops on the tip of the wings will do. And look, we've already attached the super spooky spider, then the skull, followed by one of the pumpkins. Just follow the pattern and there you have it the coolest Halloween garland you'll ever see. And it's time now to make the coolest candy bag to go trick-or-treating. First, we're gonna use white glittery foam, and then we're gonna use a ruler to mark out our measurements. We need three strips, each 19 centimeters in height and six centimeters in width. Then you can cut them out using scissors. Be careful and make sure you cut them as straight as you can. If you need help, you can always ask a grown-up to do it for you. Then we're going to need two squares 
19 centimeters in height and width. So mark them and cut them out. Now we're gonna use all the pieces we made to make our super cool candy bag. First, we're gonna put some glue on one of the sides of the strips. Then we can attach it to one of the squares. We want it to be similar to a box. Then you can do the same thing with the other two strips. Just make sure that you leave the top of the bag open. This is how our candy bag will look once you glue on the other square. It's perfect for all the delicious candies that you're gonna be getting. Now you only need to glue on two pieces of white ribbon for the handles on each side of the bag. We've cut this shape out of a black glittery foam sheet and we're gonna use it in a moment. Then we're gonna cut out four circles. The two big ones from white glittery foam and the smaller ones from black foam. They'll be the eyes of our character. Once we've cut out these shapes, we're gonna put them together to make a super cool mummy. So use some clear glue to attach the eyes like this. Then glue the eyes on to the black shape we cut out before. And then you can attach it to the front of the bag. Just like you see here. Did you notice what we did with the eyes? We left them like this to make our mummy look a little bit silly and cute. So now we're gonna need some gauze. Wrap it around the bag and glue it on. This will make our mummy look super cool and realistic. To give it the final touch, we're gonna use some of this brown foam to make a few bugs that will be crawling all over our mummy. Once you've cut them out, you can attach them to the mummy. You can put them wherever you want, so just pick your favorite spots. Then you're gonna use an ultra fine marker to draw the legs. And there you have it, the coolest candy bag to go trick or treating. Our mummy looks spooktacular. I can't wait to show all my friends how cool it is, and how big it is. Now we're really ready for all the delicious candies we're gonna be getting. Let's move on to the last decoration, a super cool jack-o'-lantern that you can put in your bedroom. So we're gonna need some cards, and we're gonna mark some measurements on it to get a square of 25 centimeters in height and width. Now we need to connect our measurements until we get the shape of a square. Then mark a smaller square inside the one we just drew. About three centimeters inside is just fine. Just like this. Then this is how it should look. We're gonna use a cutter and a ruler to cut it out following the lines we drew. And this is gonna be a frame. And look, the frame looks amazing. If you want, you can make a bigger or smaller lamp. You just need to make sure that your frame has this shape. Now, it's time to paint it with some black acrylic paint. We're gonna need four frames like this one. And now we're gonna use this ghost that we printed out to make our lamp super spooky. So first cut it out with scissors. And here I have this super scary haunted house, a witch flying on her broom, the ghost I already showed you, and this super cool pumpkin. We're gonna be using these, but you can pick all the designs and characters you like. Just make sure that they're all in black like these ones. Then we're gonna use different colors of cellophane. I picked orange and yellow. So what we're gonna do is attach the cellophane to the frames. Make sure you trim off all the excess. And this is what our frames should look like. Next thing we gotta do is glue on all the designs that we printed out. You just need some clear glue. Once the four frames are ready, we're gonna put them together using some more clear glue right here along the edges. Make sure you use enough, so just like I'm doing here. Now let's put a square of black glittery foam right on the top and just glue it on like this. And here's our jack-o'-lantern. It looks completely creepy and awesome. Just look at all those cool characters and designs. So now all you have to do is put a light on the inside and you can turn it on to get Halloween started. And that was it for today, craft and decor friends. I hope you liked the cool decorations that we made for you. I'm pretty sure that you'll have the best Halloween ever. Here we have the garland that you can hang anywhere in your house. And then the mummy candy bag to go trick or treating. And finally, 
the spectacular jack-o'-lantern. So don't forget to give us a like and write in the comments below which one was your favorite. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so that you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Thanks for watching. We love you so much and happy Halloween.